They say one man's trash is another man's treasure. In this week's Off the Beaten Path, Michael Malaterno and Tony Marr take us inside a new business that's recycling local junk into art. At first glance, the retro room in Boardman appears to be another antique store, bursting at the seams with records, art, and whatever else you can imagine. But the owners of the shop see it as a tangible expression of their passions, or more simply, as art. But I suppose like uh, the passion is in, is in the art, which is kind of what is the undertone to everything that's in here. Rocco Sade is co-owner of the Retro Room, which opened about three months ago. He says as far as what makes an item interesting to him, it's hard to say. But just like Supreme Court Justice Potter Stewart, he knows it when he sees it. It's funky because someone had an idea, they didn't just follow Spartan standard shape and that sort of thing. When it's quirky, it's, it's that far outside of the norm, and that's what makes it that interesting. The other half of the retro room is Todd Tolson, an avid collector and amateur artist whose canvas happens to be plastic. I do the artwork on the records. I take the old uh, records and I melt them, put them in the oven, I paint on them. And I call it as-is art because however it comes out when it is, that's just the way it is. The items Tolson and Sate purchase come from flea markets, auctions, or from the side of the road, and many of them are steeped okay. in local history. Yeah, we, got, we got some photographs which would be considered artwork. This here is from Arnold Stambaugh from the Stambaugh Estates. This one is, was actually submitted to the Photographic Society of America and it made it to the World's Fair building for the Kodak exhibit in 1940. They also have the original seats from Stambaugh Auditorium. What we did is made pairs of two there's, a, there's end caps on each side, which would normally have been just at the end of each aisle. But this way someone can you know, take a couple of them and just pair them up and bolt them down, make a theater. Sate says a really hot item right now is promotional records, like this one. The Golden Nugget by Judy Lynn. That's a good song. <laughs> you don't know that song. I have no idea what that song sounds like. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter that nobody's heard of this song or this artist. It's more important that you've never heard of it. Oh, because really? Because if, if what that means is that it hit the radio station and if we've never heard of it, it probably didn't make it past promotional copy. So that makes it even more rare. The Retro Room's inventory is every bit as cheerful and eccentric as its proprietor's personalities. This is a palette, you know, that an artist would use and just put it all together. That's how you see the room? Yeah. Kind of as a, as a canvas, as a piece of art? Yeah. So the whole thing is really just a, a collage. And their hours of operation are just as hard to pin down. So before you come in, call ahead at 330 707-5795. For The Daily Buzz, I'm Michael Moliterno.